Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection, Technology Game Times 2 and 3, showing off the 146 inch black projection screen. This is the Cinema Black. It's sitting back around 14 feet and 8 inches from the screen. Look at this fully lit environment. We got the uh, overhead um, condensed lighting. There is LED lighting right up under my screen. And then we have the everyday lighting around the environment. I'm going to open up a window and get some light in here because we don't want it too dark in here. So, just to show you how beautiful this technology looks in a fully lit environment. There's no light dodging whatsoever. No small screens tucked away in little corners with projectors sitting too close. Like I said, 14 feet, 8 inches. That's 4,000 lumens right there. And keep in mind, the bigger the screen, that means the bigger the screen, the farther the projector has to travel, sorry about to hit my camera strap, the farther the projector has to tra travel, that means the lumens will start to drop. Keep in mind, I have um, um, condensed lighting right on top of the screen. But check this out. There is lighting on the um, screen itself. Let me put the projector in blank mode so I can explain this better. So there we go. Put it in blank mode, you can see condensed lighting here and here, LED lights here, right next to the window, nice and bright, no light dodging whatsoever. We don't stick our screens in comfortable environments because it pretty much defeats the entire purpose of doing the demonstration to begin with. So if you notice, your screen in no way whatsoever, look at the environment, it's not set in a comfortable environment, making it comfortable for the screen. I'm not gonna have objects crowded all around the screen to block off as much light as possible. You're going to see what you're going to see is what you get screen projector environment now let me show you something really quick over here we have a 92 inch black screen which was actually used we use a bed sheet to paint it i'll show you the measuring tape where my projector comes in at i'm gonna go all the way back here we are around 12 feet and some change away from the screen right we're using a 42 100 lumen projector, 4200 lumen projector. This is my Epson, and I'm going to show you. I got half of this on the screen and half of this on the wall. I'm going to show you. Even at 4200 lumens, I'm going to show you where our technology will improve your projector's capability. And keep in mind, we're only using uh, projectors coming in at um, WXGA, so we're using about 1080 1080i compressed. So I'm going to remove this out of the way and show you what you're getting when you use. Even if you use a high-end projector, some people think if you use a 4,000 or 5,000 or 6,000 and if they hit a white wall with it, they think they're getting the best from their projector and I explained to them, no, you're not getting the best from your projector, you're losing color, you're losing contrast, you're losing detail, you're losing so much from your picture. Now the reason why they go with such high-end projectors, they figure the back projector is going to have to sit back around 20 feet, around 30 feet. Now lumens will start to drop. As the, um, lumen, as the projector starts to travel, as the lumens start to travel, they will start to drop off. So you may not have 5,000 lumens by the time you reach your destination, which is your screen. Your screen is going to have to be able to generate enough light in order to push back a brighter image so you can see exactly what you're getting from your projector. Now, if the lumens are too high and they're hitting a white screen, then just gonna piece of, everything's just going to white out, which you're seeing right here. Now you see the difference between our technology and a white wall. And we're doing this at 12 feet and some change back from the screen. We're not going to have the projector sitting right up on top of the screen because that just defeats the entire purpose. Projector sitting that close, that means the pixelations are going to be much tighter together. As I said before, white screens cannot produce HD. They can't.
to make you think anyone's using a 4k projector or 1080p projector even 720p projector and you're using a white wall or a white projection screen you think you're really getting the best picture you think it really looks okay you're not getting it look at the difference between the two There's more detail here than you're going to get there. Look at this. See the detail? Keep in mind, this is coated on a bed sheet. This right here is a bed sheet. Look how deep the blues are. So it doesn't make a difference if you have 4200 lumens, it doesn't make a difference. You got 3000 or 25, you are not going to get what you're supposed to get. This is what our technology does. And then with the ambient light rejection technology, it can be used in fully lit environments. So you don't have to be subjected to the dark. So you're going to get the most from your projector and that's the way it should be. See, when people do demonstrations, usually with a black screen versus a white screen, one of the things that does is show off contrast. That's an easy demonstration. Contrast is automatically going to pop off on a black screen faster than a white screen it will always be a difference no matter what but the hard part is to do it in color so what's the difference in contrast in color and contrast in white now as you see you get deeper blues you get more vivid colors it's more detail it's a more defined picture Like I said, white levels will be a tad low when you're dealing with black technology. But our technology is very good when it comes to white levels. Now see that 4200 lumens, that washes completely out. We make whatever. Trust me, when it comes to this technology, the uh, cinema, um, Eclipse Cinema, this screen is actually one of the um, best black screen paints we ever developed. It has some of the whitest and brightest images for a black screen. And this is right next to a white wall, just to show you how bright the levels are on this black screen. Lights out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for your time and also to look at that cuts down on a ton of the glare. The white screens reflect so much glare right back at you. But I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for your time. A few things here and there.
give you an idea. Contrast, no hands down. Easy. Like I said, but that's easy. Contrast demonstration is very easy. Black screen is always going to produce a better image on contrast. Always. No matter what, it's always going to be able to do it. That's very easy to do. Like I said, this is one of the brightest black screen paints we have ever developed. That's it, white levels are always going to be a little lower. But let me show you something. Right here. And I said white levels are always going to be a little more lower on a black screen. But you're going to lose a lot of detail. Now look at the difference between the detail here and the detail there. Big difference. All right, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I thank you all for your time. My neighbor's dog just popped up on the porch, little guy, and he's there. I do thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I have to get ready to go. I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection, technology gain times two and three. Uh, man, our sale, keep in mind, uh, the Christmas sale uh, is still going on. The wallpaper screens have been pushed back because we have a new surface that we're going to be working with. And I also, too, have a projector I paid 